What's up guys, welcome to another video, Alex here. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about some quality of life improvements that you can make to your phone just to make using your phone a little bit more pleasing and easy for your everyday life. Everything I'm gonna talk about today, I personally use myself and I always enable these things on all of my phones. So let's get into the very first one and that is to add extra fingerprints to your fingerprint scanner. I personally add both of my thumbs and index fingers and that way I can unlock my phone no matter what hand I'm holding it in. And if my phone is just laying down on the table like that, instead of having to pick it up and use my thumb or awkwardly try to position it like this, I can just use my index finger. Now to set up extra fingerprint profiles, what you wanna do is go to your phone settings, scroll down to security and privacy, go to biometrics and in here tap on fingerprints. Now you can have a total of four fingerprints added and I highly suggest you use all of these profiles because again, it's just a nice quality of life improvement when you can use any of your registered fingers to unlock your phone and then you're not just relying on your main thumb. All right guys, the next thing we're gonna change is something called screen attention. So if you're ever reading a long article or maybe you're looking at a picture on Instagram or in your gallery, if you're looking at your phone for a long time but not actually interacting with it, you might notice that your phone dims and auto locks on itself and you have to constantly tap on the screen to keep it awake. Well, there's actually a fix for that. So what you need to do is go to your phone settings, scroll down to advanced features, go to motions and gestures, and then you'll see something here called uh, keep screen on while viewing. So this is disabled by default, but you need to enable it. And now when you do that, you can see it says keep the screen on while you're looking at it. So your phone will actually use your front facing camera to see that you are actively looking at the screen and it will not auto lock it. And that way you don't have to keep tapping on your screen to keep it awake. Definitely a nice quality of life improvement right here. And I highly suggest you guys enable this if that's a problem that you're often having. All right guys, the next thing we're gonna do is automate our lives. Now Samsung has an absolutely amazing feature on their phones that's called modes and routines. So if you go into here under your settings and then tap the routines tab right here, it will take you to your routines tab. And this is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated Samsung features. This thing is absolutely amazing and there's so much that you can do with it. So to show you a few that I've already set up here, you can see that I have this secure Wi-Fi one where when I leave my house, you can see I have my address here. When my phone senses that I leave my house, my location, it will turn on secure Wi-Fi. So anytime that I'm out in public and I connect to any fishy kind of Wi-Fi spot, hotspots, my phone will turn on secure Wi-Fi and offer my phone a little bit extra protection. I also have another one here for power saving. So when my battery level goes below 30%, it will automatically turn on power saving. I don't need to do that myself. I don't need to keep an eye out on my battery. My phone will just go into power saving on its own when my battery drops below 30%. I have another one for night charging and you can see that between this time period, which is when I'm usually asleep, I have fast charging and fast wireless charging turned off because my phone has hours and hours to charge. I don't need a fast charging and generating any extra heat, which might not be the best for your battery so I just have these disabled and I also have power saving turned on because in case I forget to plug my phone into the charger it will just turn on power saving at night that way I'm not waking up to a completely dead phone or one with really low battery so you can see just how powerful this is I highly suggest you guys give routines a try and if you are using routines let me know some really cool routines you guys have set up I would love to know some other cool things that I can add in here because it's a really cool feature and definitely one that can improve your quality of life and experience using your phone. Now the next feature that I always enable on my phones is smart lock. So if we go into our settings, tap on the search icon and look for smart lock, tap onto here, then go to smart lock up here, put in your pin, you can see that we have three options here, on-body detection, trusted places, and trusted devices. I usually go for trusted places because on-body detection is not the most reliable and the trusted devices, I don't always have a Bluetooth device connected to my phone. So I set up a trusted place. And what this will do is in here, you can add a trusted place search for your address and then select your location as a trusted place. So what this will do is every time you're in this location, trusted places will keep your phone unlocked. If I lock my phone and then I go back to my lock screen, you can see it says phone unlocked by smart lock. So all I need to do is swipe up and my phone unlocks. It doesn't lock when I'm at home. Definitely a really useful feature. So you're not having to constantly unlock your phone. You're in a trusted place, you're at home. There's no reason, I hope, for your phone to be locked. 
All right guys, now the next quality of life improvements you need to make on your phone is to create text shortcuts. So if you're often having to write your email or your phone number or your address and you're constantly typing it out every single time, you don't need to do that anymore. Just create a text shortcut that will map your shortcut to whatever it is that you want to fill out. So for example, you can see that if I type the at sign twice, you can see that there's a suggestion here for my personal email address. So if I hit space, it will actually populate my whole email address into here. So instead of having to type it out, I can just use that shortcut. I also have another shortcut for my YouTube email. So if I type at YT, you can see that it populates with my YouTube email address. So I don't have to type that either when I'm working with brands or whatever it is that I'm doing. I have another one for my phone number. If I hit the pound key twice, it will give me my phone number right there. I hit space and it populates with my phone number. Definitely a really nice quality of life improvement that you guys need to start using. Now to set this up, what you need to do is go to your phone's settings, look for general management, go into here, tap on Samsung keyboard settings, and then right here you'll see text shortcuts. And these are all the shortcuts I have created. So create your own, just hit this plus icon up here and then create a shortcut. So in here, let's type something like ADDR or our address. And then in here under the expanded phrase, just type out your whole address, then just tap add. And now if we ever want to write out our address, instead of typing the whole thing, we can use that shortcut, hit space or tap on it and it will populate with our address. And this will work outside of just messaging. It will work anywhere like on emails or any contact forms that you're filling out online. It's really an awesome quality of life feature that I highly suggest you guys check out. All right guys, now this next quality of life feature that you need to enable is notification history. So if you've ever swiped away a notification by accident without being able to read it and you didn't notice where that notification came from or what it said, notification history is the only way to go back and be able to check on that notification. So to show you what it looks like, if we go to our phone settings, go to notifications, tap advanced settings and then select notification history. By default, this will be turned off. So if you didn't have this turned on, any notifications that you got in the past will not show up here. But once you enable it, every single notification that you get going forward will show up in your notification history. It's definitely a really useful feature. Hey guys, future Alex jumping into the video here because I forgot this feature. I don't know how I forgot it. It's literally in my notes and it's such an important one. But what you want to do is go to your phone settings, go to modes and routines and set up a mode for sleeping. And what this will do is enable the do not disturb feature at the time that you select it. So if you go to bed at 12 a.m. and you wake up at 7 a.m., between this time, your phone will go into do not disturb mode. And this is going to help you get much better sleep because if you're ever waking up at night because you got some random Instagram like or some Facebook notification, that even if it doesn't wake you up, that can actually drag you out of a deep sleep into a lighter state of sleep. So if you're finding that you're waking up groggy and not well rested, it could be because your phone is keeping you up at night or just disturbing your sleep. So I highly suggest you set this up and it's definitely going to increase your quality of life experience because you're going to have better sleep and who doesn't want better sleep. So definitely go ahead and set this up. And one thing I would recommend is you go in here and select what contacts you want to allow to bypass your do not disturb because obviously sometimes we we have emergencies that can happen at night and if your mom or grandma or somebody from the family calls you, you probably want to be able to be woken up and not have your phone just silence all of those uh, calls. So definitely go through here and select what calls you want to be able to get through and override that feature. And once you get all that set up, your phone is going to automatically enable this mode between the times that you've selected and hopefully you'll get much better sleep. All right, now back to the video. All right guys, now the last quality of life improvement I'm gonna make you change on your phone is to block ads. This will work on websites, it will work in games and it will even work system wide on your phone. So for example, let's say we're on this website and we want to go to this article right here. You can see that it starts loading a bunch of ads. There's a video ad right here with audio. There's an ad up here. And if we were scrolling through here, you can see there's another ad right here. There's just ads everywhere. There's an ad, another one right here. And it's just not a very, you can see things are just popping up on your screen. It's not a very pleasant experience when you're just getting ads popped up all over the place. Also on your phone, if you go to your newsfeed and you scroll through here, 
eventually you'll come by an advertisement. So you can see this, oops, I accidentally clicked on this. This is a sponsored post. So this right here is an ad. We can block all of this and you don't need to install any applications. There's no third, third party apps, nothing. You do it directly from your phone. To do that, go to your phone settings, go to connections, go to more connection settings, and then tap on private DNS and select private DNS provider hostname. And in here type dns.adguard.com and hit save. Now you're all done. So if we go back to that website in our Chrome, if we refresh this page, you can see all the ads disappear. There's no ad banner up here. There's no video playing. There's nothing popping up on my screen. You can see that this advertisement is just blanked out and it's a much, much nicer experience not having all of these ads pop up in your face. Also, if we go back to our Google News Feed right here, if we just refresh this, now as I'm scrolling through here, you can see I'm not seeing any sponsored posts. There's no more advertisements. So I'm not being served any ads in this Google feed. So definitely a really nice feature if you're tired of seeing ads and sponsored posts everywhere you go. Now keep in mind, this won't work on 100% of ads. It won't block completely everything, but it definitely does a pretty good job. But there you go, guys. That's gonna do it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other cool quality of life improvements that you have maybe on your phone. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.